Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is March 22nd, 2022. Yeah, the short squeeze and Mullen Automotive is still ongoing. I mean, look at my chart. I did a video for this particular stock on March the 15th, and I was telling you all then to be prepared for the price in Mullen to go up, and that is exactly what happened. Now, I'm gonna talk about this stock. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking for the market to do next, because obviously, this is not a stock that you wanna simply hold for the long term. This is like a trader's type stock. This is not one of those hold, hold the bag, dollar cost average, you know, do the fundamental analysis type stock. No, this is just a momentum type play. This is not one that you get married to. This is not a conviction play. This is not one of those stocks that these YouTubers tell you all to come in and believe and hold for the long term. No, this is not that. So I'm going to show you all what I'm looking forward to over the next couple of days in Mullen and see if the market is still a buy. Because if it is, then we still have a lot of upside potential to go. Welcome. This is HFN, also known as Hufenu. This is what I do. I do the price predictions. I want to show everyone that you don't have to be bogged down on a company's financials. You don't have to be bogged down on earnings conference calls. You don't have to be bogged down on using technical indicators. Just look at the price. Check this out. Like I said, I did a video on March the 15th, right? This is why being in position is the edge that we have. We have to be in position in order to capitalize off of the bag. In order to get the money, you already got to be in position to win. I did the video on March the 15th telling you all then to, hey, look for Mullen to go up in price and look at the ultimate area of TP that I had right there around $3, right? I was looking for the price in Mullen to try to hit that $3 price. And just yesterday, the market exceeded that. It went to four. Cool. But still, that 68% run that I anticipated on March the 15th. If you was able to top out and take the bag at the high of yesterday, it's 134%. Now think about it. 134% run up in less than a week. Now, obviously, you would expect the market to come back down eventually, right? You would expect that to subside and try to come down because this is the actual overall trend to the market in Mullen, right? So look at this. I identified the trend in Mullen here. So this is the current trend right now in Mullen. And if I were to create another ascending line, right? You can see how far away we are breaking out from the trend. You need to expect some prices to come down. You need to expect the market in Mullen to come down. And it's gonna be in a sense that's, it might catch people off guard, yeah. You're not going to want to see it because a lot of hype people on YouTube are trying to pump this stock and you're going to get onto the bandwagon a little late before the price sinks and comes back down. I'm not that type of person. If I'm looking for the price to come down, I'm going to definitely tell you that whether you like it or not, because you can't change the price. I can't change the price. The only thing that you and I both can do is, is try to get out the way. There's a reason why. The market in Mullen did not break above $4 yesterday. It's a reason. And it's because of that right here. This area right here was already an issue in Mullen back in January of this year. It was acting as support and then it soon acted as restriction. So let me zoom in and show you all this. Right here is where the price in Mullen was acting as support. Cool. Fantastic. This is where the buyers should have bounced the price in Mullen on these two days, January the 11th, the 12th, even here on the 13th of January. But the price continued to decline. The weakness continued to show itself that the market actually broke the trend, that support area of $4, right here on the 18th. So the price in Mullen hasn't traded around $4 since January the 18th. The market came back up to that level yesterday. And now we need to see how did price react because we still ended lower in the market in Mullen. So let's look at this on a hourly time frame, right? And here it is. So this is the four hour chart. And the market started out fantastic in trading yesterday. The first four hours was great. It was the second four hour chart that we begin to see the selling and the weakness. So as we pay attention, we need to see how low can this market price really go in Mullen, right? 
this is where the selling started right here yes we did a small recovery on this one hour bar but again it might just be a fake it might simply be there to trick us into thinking that the market in bulls is going to continue to go up okay So now, I really want everyone to pay attention to this trend right here on a minute basis. Okay, we need to see this market in Mullen really try to come in and hold this trend today. Because if we see the market trend break this to the downside, yeah, we're going to continue to go lower in price. I'm just here to set the expectations. I don't want you all to get caught on the wrong side, right? So this is the five minute chart. You all can see that the market kind of started rolling over at the end of the day. That is because $3.40 is restriction right here. All right. So this is going to be the first hurdle that the market and mother is going to have to break above in order for us to really reclaim some strength and price break above $4 right there. So let's look at this. on this five hour chart. And this is where I'm really seeing the weakness at right here. Okay, right there. If we're not able to see the market really break about 340 to 360, I would say around 360, anticipate us to get some selling, anticipate the market to try to take some profit. This is how this market is played. Like I said, this is a momentum play. This is not one that you come in and grab and sit on and wait for five to 15 to 20 years. It's just a momentum. The market momentum has shifted to being a buyer's opportunity. And that opportunity started all the way back the 25th of February, though. Right. So if you haven't even gotten into this play yet, don't rush. <laughs> the market will let you know when you need to get in and when you need to get out. And just a couple of five hour price bars ago, the market is looking like the people are trying to take the profit. Right. So from my perspective, I'm simply going to sit out and wait into the market and, and um, mulling on the mulling. I'm not going to play on this yet. I really want us to see whether or not the market can hold support around three dollars. I'll say around three dollars to 275. Right. We definitely need to see the market hold that, because if we don't, we're going to continue to see this price go a lot lower. And it might catch a lot of people off guard because the market is trying to buy the hype right now on YouTube. All right. So first thing. Let's see what we have, though. Because if the market is able to come in and hold support around three dollars, take the bag. Yeah, if you know how to short the market, take that seven percent. Because my second area is going to be down here. Towards 268. To see the market in mulling all the mullet come down towards. All right. Third area is going to be down here toward like 215. All right, so we have 215 is the third price target. The second price target is 268. And the first price target is $3. First price target, $3. Second price target, 268. Third price target is $2 and like 15 cents, somewhere around there. We really need to see how low this market in uh, Mullet Automobile is going to get to. All right. So is a short squeeze still on the chart on the table? Well, we got to see how soon the market is able to grab support. If we are able to see the market grab support at three dollars, then yeah. But if we break three dollars and then come down to two seventy eight, then we're not. We're, we're lessening that opportunity to see this market short squeeze or continue to go up in price. The momentum is shifting. So you really got to be on guard over the next couple of days. I'm just going to keep it a buck. So this is what I'm looking forward to over the next day or so, two to three days throughout the rest of this trading week to see how this market reacts. Uh, definitely, there was some profit taking going on into the market in Mullen Automotive that we might need to pay attention to. Just saying. So now hit me up, though. Let me know what you all think about the market in Mullen. Is this a long term play? Are you looking for this to go a lot higher? 
or what hit me up and let me know make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different <laughs>